So, you know, we talked about these wonderful pr presentations from Garrett Lisi, who's beautifully showing the story that if you took this geometry called E8, <clears throat> and you look at the cross points of the, of the nesting of the symmetry solids, or the symmetry array, you got, and here they're color-coded, you got all of the subatomic particles and the gravity, the gravitron, the, the gravity phenomena, all nested in one geometric array. And what I pointed out, of course, was that um, my hero, Professor El Nashi in Cairo, who has a lifetime of work defending and demonstrating the golden ratio as being the basis of E8, Suddenly we find out that this E8 geometry is all based on golden ratio. I commented that I thought it was sad that Garrett Lisi didn't emphasize the golden ratio as being the key to E8. Because if you did, you'd see what's causing the centripetal force at the center. Namely, the fact that the charge waves, which are nesting in this geometry, we're saying the whole universe is made of waves of charge. That's the ether of the unified field, in my view, is charge, a centripetal or centrifugal force in the background compressibility of the universe. The ether is made of charge. When it's compressive or refractive, that's plus and minus charge. So these waves of charge converge, adding and multiplying constructively the solution to infinite compression, because golden ratio is the solution that Einstein missed to infinite compression. And when the waves experience this adding and multiplying, compression is turned into acceleration, because the phase velocities add and multiply and that turns the compression into acceleration, increased velocity. And charge acceleration in this model defines gravity. So what I pointed out in my little discussion there was that, <clears throat> that if you look at the way that, on the left here, that Bucky Fuller had talked about this jitterbug where you here and you're about to see it come up here now. This is the ecosa geometry there. Now see how it compresses? There's, there's ecosa, there. It went from cube octa to ecosa to tetra. tetra. And on the way from cube octa to ecosa, it collapses in precisely a golden ratio collapse. So Bucky Fuller's jitterbug, the compression from cube octa to ecosa, actually predicted the fact that this jitterbug predicted the onset of superconductivity and how you see gravity happening. Because in three dimensions, the waves are experiencing perfect collapse by doing this folding process. So we gave a little background behind the jitterbug here. You see from cube octa to ecosa to octa. That's a compression path that enables charge to, to do optimized translation of vorticity, which is how rotation becomes inertia in a line, which is the connection between mass and energy. And that solves optimized, that is solved, optimized translation of vorticity being the definition of the golden mean spiral. So suddenly this, uh, this jitterbug from cube octa to ecosa has this sort of poetry behind it called the Christed one. It's because it's the principle of crystallization. And in another discussion, we discussed that this jitterbug was a mechanism of superconductivity. When mo molecules do this, as in your DNA, <clears throat> it actually creates the superconductive. And DNA has been measured superconductive. It was uh, Tom Sawyer in Buffalo who presented that paper on the jitterbug as a mechanism of the onset of superconductivity as the molecular centers do that array change. <clears throat> We, all, <clears throat> we also wanted to mention in closing, in this conversation, the, the work of Nassim Haramin. <clears throat> Another example, oh, in, in passing here, just to say, here is, as we said, <laughs> the Nature magazine saying the universe is dodeca, and New Scientist magazine saying the universe is fractal. It's one of my favorite stories. And neither one realized that the dodeca is the perfect fractal, and neither one realized that stellated dodeca fractality is the cause of the gravity that holds the universe together. So suddenly, all these stories begin to make sense, <clears throat> that this adding and multiplying path to center is how electrical centripetal force is made and is thus the golden ratio fractal cause of gravity. Here's El Nashi's 106 papers on golden ratio in E8. And here's El Nashi commenting, the fractal nature of space may actually be the cause of gravity. Well, actually, El Nashi said fractalization is the origin of gravity using what he called golden mean quantum field theory, whereas it's Andre Lind who said the fractal nature of space may actually be the cause of gravity, which supports my original 2006 paper at the Budapest Unified Field Physics Conference saying golden ratio fractality is the electric cause of gravity. But again, just to conclude here, I wanted to congratulate Nassim on what I thought was some of the most beautiful parts of his work, <clears throat> the resonanceproject.org. 
Here he's showing that these key points on the scaling law for all organized matter, and again, this is Nassim Haramein's work, he's taken the, the frequency, radius, mass, and velocity of the universe, the galaxy, the, the atom, and the Big Bang as plots, places along this path. He's, this is a ratio of frequency on the left to scale on the right for <clears throat> the uh, major physics variables for the size of these various key universal phenomena, the galactic center black hole and the size of, <clears throat> of atoms, the Big Bang, the s stellar solar, and the galactic and the universal uh, spheres or radii. And by plotting these, he's showing that this scaling law for all organized matter exists precisely in golden mean or phi relations. You see here the golden mean ratio between all the key points on this graph. So suddenly, universal scaling, which is sort of the climax of the great work on global scaling by the German group, is all optimized by golden ratio. So it's long been known that golden ratio is the key to global scaling, but now we know the electrical reason why, because this establishes the perfection of charge distribution and the perfection of charge collapse, which defines gravity. Remember, Einstein defined gravity as perfected charge collapse. He simply didn't understand that golden ratio fractality was the solution to his problem. The point is now we can apply this. There are all kinds of technologies from making gravity, uh, rocket motor thrust, uh, electric voltage from gravity, splitting hydrogen, making bioactive electric fields. All of these technologies open up to us if we can take responsibility for this relationship we have to our universe, which is based on the serious electric physics of fractality. So, thank you very much. This is Dan Winter. Thanks to all who are being supportive. And we particularly invite you to join our South France conference this year. Come see us in South France. It's fun. Thanks.